This is James over at Realty Candy. One of the most common questions we get asked by people that are hosting a website or that want to host their website with us is what they can do to get more um, loading speed, how to make their site faster and things like that, uh, make the homepage load faster. The biggest problem that we see, the biggest culprit on this uh, loading time are images. And I want to just take a few minutes today and show you how to do these images so that they can really make a big impact on your website for load times and for SEO benefit. So I'm going to take this demo site and just take a look at something. So if we look at this, we can look at this picture. This looks like it's about, I want to say about 300 pixels by about 200 pixels or something like that. I have a little measuring tool. It's not going to show up very good in the video. But yeah, this is 250 by 190, basically. So that's, I'll just make a note of that here on a, on a little piece of paper. But let's take a look at this picture. If we go view image, we're going to see a couple things here. One is, it has a really bad name. The other thing is, this is huge. This isn't that little tiny image. Look how big this is. And besides that, you can see I have that little magnifying glass. That means that it actually zooms in even more. So let's take a look. Well, it doesn't zoom in a ton more, but there is some zoom. So let's take a look. What we're going to do, let's save this image um, in our temp stuff. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change this so it's something better. Like let's say we have a site that focuses on Miami Beach duplexes. So So I may make a, um, I may make a name, a file name, that's something a little bit more like that instead of the EJ whatever thing. So now that I've downloaded that, okay, so here's that image. Let's click it open, and I'm on a Mac, so I use a, a little program called Preview. So it loads this up. I'm going up to Tools on my menu. And then I have this adjust size. And when I do that, uh, you can see that this thing is pretty huge, 1600 by 1067. So I'm going to say, what if I put it at one, 250? Remember we said 250 by 190? This isn't going to quite be big enough. So it'll look a little stretched out, a little pixelated. So I'm going to change this one. And it's OK if it's a little bigger. It can adjust. You want this one to be a little bigger. It's, it's not a huge issue. We're going to get this down. Uh, so now we have an image that's this big. So I'm going to save it. And so now it's 12 uh, kilobytes. It looks like it was about um, 600 kilobytes earlier when we were looking at it. And then to get it even smaller, I'm going to go to tinypng.com. Let's see what we're going to do here. tinypng.com. Oh boy. And then I'm going to just drag and drop this over here to the top. And they're going to compress that a little bit. It's really not going to lose any um, visual qualities. This is kind of like when you compress your music to be an MP3 and listen to it on iTunes. Yeah, the quality is a little different, but most of us can't even really tell the difference. So you can see it only compressed at 7%. The truth is, if I was going to be doing this on little files like this, I would personally consider just loading it up from my computer without running it through TinyPNG. But um, one that I did earlier today, it gave me 9% savings. This is 7. So if you can get 7 or 9 or 10% savings on all these images, together it ends up being a, a significant... Uh, a significant savings. So we're going to save this. And now let's come back up here to the site we were looking at. 
And we're using Beaver Builder on this site. So I'm just going to click right here at the top. And we'll scroll down here. And this highlights that image. So we're going to remove that. Now we're going to select a new photo. We'll put our picture in here. And so we want to describe the purpose of the picture. So um, views of the beach from uh, Miami Beach Duplex. Okay. And I could put a little description. Um, this is a great view of Sandy Beach, let's call it. So all of this gets us better uh, SEO benefit, more Google juice. And uh, it really doesn't take that much more time. The name is good. Everything's good. So now let's save that. And you can see it changed our our page there. I'm going to publish this change. And now when I come over here and right click on this and I hit view image, that's all we see is that little image. And then we can see here the name of that image is something that Google's going to see that's great. So we just saved a bunch of time on our load time. We got a little SEO benefit and we're off to the races. So you can go through your website and change all those images like that and get yourself a lot of load time savings. Another thing is if you're starting a new website, do this from the very beginning. Don't load up big pictures if you just need a little one. Obviously, this picture is going to be bigger. But all these little ones, just load them up the same size that you see them right here. And that's going to save you a ton of load time and a lot of space.